Does this play look familiar to you? Yeah, that's me. I just hit that shot. Thanks to this plugin called Ripcore, I'm actually able to put myself into any RLCS scenario with my teammates and the defenders all around me. All I need is the replay file and I can play as anyone in the match. So I put myself in the middle of some of the most impressive RLCS goals in history to try and recreate them the best I can. All right, so first up is this season one air dribble from over zero. Obviously not that crazy at all today, but at the time this was one of the most impressive goals. And I'm gonna work my way up to present time. So by the end, I'm gonna be trying to recreate the insane shots that we see today. All right, let's see what we can do first try. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> yeah, obviously this really isn't impressive at all today, but it's really fun to see like how the casters react to like how insane of a shot this was at the time. But obviously it's just like nothing today. I think the most interesting part about this one is the fact that it's like wide open if he just shoots it on instantly. Like he did not have to air dribble this. If he gets just a light touch and then a power shot, that can go straight in. Flip reset. Nice. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, there, there's no way people were doing flip resets back then. But we will get to that. We will get to that eventually later on. I think my go-to, like in an actual game for me, would be like a double tap. Kind of like this. Slam it off the back wall. And then try and finish it off. That's pretty... No way! Nice. There we go. That was clean. If anyone hit that sort of shot back in season one, that would have been just so far above everything else. All right, this next one is back in season two. It's like a weird ground double tap from Remco. And again, the casters just go absolutely nuts for this. <laughs> what is that touch upside down? The interesting thing about this one too is the fact that I'm pretty sure he did it on accident. Like if you go back and look at how he did it, I'm pretty sure he was just trying to put like a normal power shot on like that. Like this, touch down. Yeah, that is like so much harder to do on purpose. Like no one practices this sort of thing. It's so random. One more. Yeah, I'm just hitting it too solid on that first touch. It's gotta be like a perfect accidental touch downward. <gasps> okay, he saved it. <laughs> there we go, got it, nice. That actually took a lot longer than I thought it would, I'll be honest. I know on Remco's, he like didn't air roll at all. So I tried to make it a little bit more realistic to that. But there we go. I think that was uh, actually pretty accurate. All right, up next is this overtime double tap from Cookser. This is from season three back in 2017. It's really as simple as it looks, you know, but I wonder if there's going to be anything weird about it that makes it tough. Double taps definitely were not the norm back then. I know that for sure. So go up like this. Double tap. No way. Oh, <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess there's nothing hard about it. <laughs> I was not expecting to get that first try at all. That's actually crazy. Honestly, I've been trying this for a while. I don't think it's possible to be much creative with this one. The lack of boost just makes it pretty hard to do anything other than a normal double tap. But honestly, I'll take it. That first one was like pretty accurate and it was the first try too. All right, next up is definitely in my top 10 favorite RLCS goals of all time. It's this weird like double tap waterfall read from Devo. I'm pretty sure they call that a waterfall where it like drops down off that top lip. So I'm pretty sure already the hardest part of this is gonna be hitting it all the way to the top of the ceiling like that and getting it to give you a good bounce in the first place. What the, what the heck is? <laughs> oh, that was actually so close. This is another one of those things that like, this could have easily just been scored from a normal double tap like that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. No, I had it, dude. I could have gotten it. Nope, not high enough. It's a, it's a pretty good shot though. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, come on! Okay, I scored it, but obviously that doesn't count. Come on. Oh. 
All right, I, I can't. I, I can't. Oh my god, dude. I've done over an hour of attempts, man. This turned out to be, without a doubt, the hardest shot on this list. And it's not even the actual mechanic that's tough. It's getting it up to the top, bro. I didn't want to have to skip it, but this one's just, it's out of my league. All right, next up is one of the first flip resets ever hit in RLCS. It's by Squishy, of course. This is from November of 2018, uh, the Season 6 Grand Finals, actually. Cloud9 versus Dignitas. At the time, this was insane. Let's see how hard it is now. This one, I can already tell the hardest part is going to be getting a perfect pop here on the ground. Like, that's too low right there. It's funny how with these older mechanics, the hardest part is setting it up in the exact same way that they did back then. But nowadays, the setups are just so consistent, and I honestly might find the other ones easier, even though they're cooler. Pop. It's good. Uh, I think I can do better. If I don't do one of the goals in this video that you were thinking of, then chances are I probably did it in the previous video. Because I actually have another episode of this that I did a few months ago. So be sure to check that out afterwards if you want. If you think about it, this flip reset is like so easily predictable by today's standards. The only reason Squishy even had the space for this was because no one was going for these back then. Perfect touch. Reset. There we go. That's more like it. It even hit the, the crossbar just like it did in game. Obviously, in the actual game, it like bounced all along the goal line, I think. But that still was pretty accurate. Like he got the reset, delayed it, and then hit it. And then, of course, it went in eventually. This double tap from Squishy is ridiculous. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I'm even going to get close to it. I'm at least going to get some sort of double tap. But like getting that exact angle that he got might just be impossible for me. We'll see, though. We'll see. All right. So boost over here touch and i'm not even close <laughs> it, it happens so fast that's what makes this one so impressive to me and if he put a normal shot on here it actually would have gotten saved look at that right into devo and like alpha would have had it covered if he put it top left okay that's not bad that's not a bad double tap and he only has like 50 boosts for the aerial dude that's insane honestly the 2022 version of this play would be just like faking it like that and just letting gimmick finish it off there because that doesn't even require any insane mechanics it's just the fake aerial dummy play that i've been talking about all right let's see what we can do though <gasps> oh my gosh that was actually so close there we go okay i honestly think that's the best i can do the angle squishy got is just like out of this world honestly i don't even know if he could recreate that still not bad it's a still a pretty insane shot so we'll take it I had never seen this play until recently. Like, you can't even find the VOD for the original broadcast. This is actually from a player named Steve, who's from the OCE region. It's an insane shot from, I think, the regular season. It's a ceiling pinch double tap. So all I got to do is pop it straight up to the ceiling, which is probably going to be the hardest part. Straight from the ground, all the way up to the ceiling. That pop is going to be crazy. Pretty sick. <laughs> Pop. It's so, I can't pop it high enough. That's the problem. There we go. Oh, that was kind of close. That was my closest one. That was a pretty good shot. <laughs> I can I can do other impressive goals, but this ceiling pinch one, man, it's it's that's why it's impressive is because of this pop. Come on. No, dude, I could have had it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna take that one actually because it's almost more impressive that I messed it up and then still recovered and made the shot, honestly. Did all the main aspects, the pop, ceiling pinch, and the double tap. And there you go. <laughs> it's a pretty good shot. All right, next we got a Garrett G flip reset. This one's actually pretty unique. It's like a redirect combined with an air dribble combined with a flip reset. It's like a whole bunch of things in one. Definitely super impressive. I'm excited to try this one out. Okay, this might be a little weird since it's like starting in the corner. Touch like that. And then I somehow get a reset and score. <laughs> That's not bad. It, that's technically what it was, but it, it's not even close to being good. So this was back in 2020, so almost two years ago now. Oh, come on. No. There we go. 
Yes, there we go. That was good. It's these like mechanically flashy ones that I think are honestly easier than the totally unique ones. Yeah, that was a fun one. I, I actually really enjoyed that one. Finally, we're up to pretty much present time now. This goal is from Atomic from this season, 2022. It is a flip reset, redirect, double tap, which is crazy that all those are in the same sentence. Absolutely insane. I've never hit any goal like this in game. So let's see how I do. So he turns on the wall double jumps off, gets a reset, and somehow does all of that. The double jump off the wall is key. I think that's really going to help me out here. That's a nice goal. <laughs> Got the double tap part. Okay, there's, there's a flip reset goal, so we got the other half. Now just got to combine them somehow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I literally wasn't even trying for a double reset there. Come on. Oh, that, that's it. But I can definitely do better. Oh my gosh. That was actually insane. That honestly might be even like cooler than what atomic did in the actual game obviously that's a lot easier at least for me but that is so much cooler in my opinion so next up we've got aj he did this insane corner double tap to win a game in the rlcs actually just a couple weeks ago this one's just straight up like so insane the defense wasn't even expecting it and that doesn't happen often so he hits it to the corner and then somehow gets that angle. <laughs> i know i wouldn't even think to go for a corner double in this situation it's actually pretty close there yeah, that angle. That, that's going to be crazy if I can get that. What I would personally probably do is something similar, except I wouldn't even go for the shot. I'd probably just try to plop it mid like that for a teammate. Oh my gosh, I feel like that was really close. This one's so awesome because it's such a simple idea, but it's so impressive at the same time. I already know this is going to be one of the shots that I feel like I'm not close at all, and then suddenly out of nowhere I get it. Oh, maybe... No, that's the setup, though. That's the perfect setup. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I actually got it. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this at all going into it, but there you go. <laughs> the fact that he did that in RLCS, like literally the highest caliber of play. Like, that's just crazy, dude. That's all the shots I got today. Appreciate you watching as always. I did another episode of this, but with famous and iconic goals. So if you want to watch that, that'll be in the end card here right now. And if you want to try out the plugin for yourself, a link will be in the description. But just a fair warning, it is really buggy. Of course, it is just a plugin. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.